text Rodrigo. Tell him that I'm going to be late for our crime fighting session. Here's your text. Do you want to send it? Okay, so everyone pretty much got it. I'm going to be late for our crime fighting session. What would you like your email to say? I have the taser, so come over at 4 p.m. and we'll fight crime. Here's your message to Rodrigo Epic. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I'll send it. Email Rodrigo. Tell him I have the taser. Uh, you can't do that in Cortana yet. But what you can do is say, Open Outlook. All right. And from there, you will dictate your email message. So you don't get the full hands-free option, which is kind of disappointing. On Google Now, email Rodrigo. Tell him I have the taser. Here's your email. Do you want to send it? Yes. Sending email. Okay. So Open Pandora. Open Office. Sure. Opening Office. Open Instagram. Opening app. So you see, all of them are capable of opening apps. Though Google now lacks the ability to turn on settings on and off which you can't do on the other two devices, you can open apps that way. Play Daft Punk. Looking for Daft Punk. Sorry, I couldn't find Daft Punk in your music. Okay, so to be fair to Siri, I don't have any music stored on my iPhone. I do it all cloud on there. That's why it doesn't come up. Play Daft Punk. And the same happens on Cortana. I have no music stored on the device, so it goes to Bing as a result. Play Daft Punk. Now, Google, on the other hand, gives me the option of opening it in Google Play because I have Next that option. Next time I talk to Rodrigo, tell him I forgot to bring my gun. Ready to send it? Okay, I won't send so they wanted to send a message, but really they should have done is what Cortana does. The next time I talk to Rodrigo, tell him I forgot to bring my gun. Sure. Next time you talk to okay. Rodrigo, okay. And the cool thing about that is when Rodrigo calls me or I call him, that message will actually appear on screen. And if I go to text him, that will come up as well. So it'll help me remember to do that with Rodrigo. Now let's see if that works with Google Now. The next time I talk to Rodrigo, remind me to tell him I forgot my gun. And a Google search. No good. Call my brother. Calling Rodrigo a fake mobile. Okay. So they all got it. Yes. Four stars. Call the second one. Call the second one. Sure. Calling Spike. Call the second one. Ah, oh, Google now, you're killing me. Okay, I'm a sports fan. I'm a fan of Arsenal, and they recently played on April uh, 12th, so I'm going to find out what their last score was. What was the score in Arsenal's game? Arsenal beat Wigan Athletic 1-1. to -1. They are playing West Ham tomorrow at 2.45 p.m. Okay. What was the score in Arsenal's game? I can't seem to connect right now. Ah. Uh, did Arsenal win? On Sunday, April 6th, Arsenal lost to Everton 0-3. to 
Okay, well, today is April 14th, so it should have recognized that Arsenal's last match was actually on the 12th, but it didn't re uh, was able it was unable to tell the difference between a tournament match and a league match. So that's one place where Cortana came up short. Well, what was the score in Arsenal's match? Here are the scores from MLS for week six. Okay, so it's coming up with MLS, which is in a completely different league. Did Arsenal win? Looking for Arsenal's schedule. It looks like Arsenal West Ham match was postponed. Okay, well, I already knew that, so that's not telling me what I need, Siri. Come on. What was the score in Arsenal versus Wigan? Looking for Arsenal's schedule. Arsenal crushed Wigan Athletic by a score of 4 to 1 on May 14th, 2013. Uh, okay, so Siri is completely useless in this, so we're, we're just going to take her out of the equation entirely. Create an appointment for 3 p.m. Beat up brother. What do you want to call it? Beat up brother. All right. I can add beat up brother to your calendar for today at 3 p.m. Is that right? Yes. All right, I've added it. By the way, you have clean room at the same time. Hmm, so I guess I can't beat up my brother and clean my room at the same time. So, thanks for the warning, Cortana. Add to my calendar, beat up brother at 5 p.m. Okay, I can create your meeting. Note that you already have an appointment about clean room at 5 p.m. Shall I schedule it anyway? Yes. It's on your calendar for 5 p.m. today. Add to my calendar, beat up brother at 4 p.m. Touch to continue. And you can see how many pounds are in $78? Checking my sources. US How many pounds are in seventy-eight dollars? How many pounds are in seventy-eight dollars? Seventy-eight United States dollars okay. equals forty-six British pounds and sixty-five pence. Okay, now I'll check when I do it this way. How much is forty-four pounds worth in dollars? How much is 44 pounds worth in dollars? 44 British pounds equals 73 United States dollars and How much is 44 pounds worth in dollars? Let me have a look. Okay, I found this on the web. So you can see only Google Now was able to discern between what I meant. I essentially asked the same question. I just phrased it a different way. And this is one area where Cortana kind of needs time to expand. Uh, that Microsoft basically explained to me when I met them last week that this is obviously a beta product. They're putting it out in beta so they can hear people speak the English language so they can learn more and they can pick up on the different ways that people phrase the essentially the same questions, the same queries. So that's kind of what they're trying to do now. So in some areas, Cortana is going to fall flat when it comes to voice search. If you, you have to choose your words carefully, that's something that you kind of have to do with Google now and Siri as well but it's not as pronounced. Uh, with Cortana specifically, you need to be uh, mindful of how you ask questions, how you tell it to do things. But aside from that, Cortana is pretty interesting. This is just the first step. They've got a long way to travel, but I like the first step that they've taken. So this is Andrew with MobileBurn.com taking a look at Cortana and just seeing basically how it stacks up at the moment against things like Google Now and uh, against Siri. But until next time, thanks for reading, and if you enjoy this video, be sure to click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.